All right, so I wanted to do a quick review of the equipment that is used while doing an ECM barrel. Um, this is some safety equipment to start off with. You're going to want to have a pair of gloves because this, uh, the fluid involved can be toxic. Um, obviously, you want some splash rated goggles and a respirator is not required, but is a good idea if you're working indoors. If you work outdoors, uh, you don't have to worry about any possible fume issues. Um, depending on the metals involved, you may not have anything to worry about, but it's better to be safe than sorry, especially if you already have the equipment on hand. So as far as the actual process itself, what we have here is a 12 volt DC pump. Um, and I have mine hooked up to a homemade uh, variable outlet power supply. Um, in this case, um, I had this one laying around using an old PC power supply, but you really just need something that will meet the required um, output for your pump. Um, in this case, uh, this is a five amp pump and I run mine limited at three amps. You can run yours off of a wall charger or whatever. Um, this is a uh, variable outlet or variable DC power supply. Um, and this is what you'll actually use for the cutting process. You can also use a battery charger or car batteries if you really were in a pinch um, or really anything that can give you a, um, a low DC power supply and push uh, as many as two to eight amps. Less amperage just means that it's going to work slower um, and so your cut times will be longer, but as long as you can have a stable amperage, you're good to go. We have a couple of leads. Um, and then we have our hoses that run all the way over here to our bucket. My hoses are longer than are necessary, but you know, that's what it is. Um, in here we have just plain salt water, and, uh, but as we start cutting it's going to pick up some metal hydroxides. Uh, this frame that I have everything hanging from is not required, um, but is handy. This is a 3D printed mandrel and a 3D printed jig to hold it. Um, and you can see I'm holding my mandrel in place with a um, very high-tech pipe cleaner. You can also use a um, zip tie there. Um, and I have the six millimeter rod pushed a little too far in right there. Um, I'm gonna have to back it off some before I hook up my um, electronics, but let's just see how it looks with the pump turned on. You can see my amperage drops to about three amps here. And you can see we've got a pretty good amount of water flow coming out of the end of the system. Once we start the actual cutting process, there will be a noticeable change in color, and um, that's how we know that it is working.